friends, welcome back to OK at Home DIY. And if you're new here, my name is Zaina. Today I am doing a mystery box, box swap with some friends here on YouTube. So, some other creators. My box came from La Parsha from creating it myself and I sent a box and over Sarah over at sunflowers and DIYing I'm not gonna lie I had to go double check that name because I was getting everything all mixed up in my head so that's who got the box for me and I got this box again from La Parsha over at creating it myself and we are supposed to record ourselves opening the box so here we go I'm excited we have three challenge items and then the rest are items that we can use just to um, create with. So, her challenge items are wrapped up. Uh, this is a must use. And I think she, she did a really good job attacking stuff in here. Holy cow. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, let's see. Okay, so those are the must-use items. There's more than one in there. So I will do that in a different, oh my goodness, look at these, look how cute. These are the ones, can you see it? My light's reflecting. I'll do a close-up of that. Some gold leaves, those are so neat. Oh, and some amazing, Stencils. I like stencils. They're so good. I think this next grouping is together. So, oh, this is just for fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to. I never got any of these in at our Dollar Tree, so thank you, La Barsha. How cool is that? No, these are items that are just the extra items, I believe. Tree. Some tag. Trying to show you in there. I don't have one of these. Glue and residue eraser. And more to, oh, fun tin truck. I found her letter that she sent to me. This is cool. I never picked up one of those. Okay, now these are just for fun items, she says. And this is the octagon welcome sign. How cool is that? And these rub-ons. I love rub-ons. I'll give you another look of those as well, close up, because my light isn't working all that well. Okay, so these are the must-use items. My little, I don't know. Did she go easy on me? Or are they soft? I don't, I don't know. Okay. This is a welcome sign with, this is cute. I can do something with that for Christmas. And a baby, baby teether. Woo! I don't even have an idea. Thanks, LaParsha. And this is, <laughs> It's not easy on me. One easy item, too hard. All right, so stay tuned to see what I make with these. Okay, just a quick review of the challenge items. This dog leash and this sign from Dollar General and this baby teether. So I'm going to start with the baby teether. I'm wrapping some burlap fabric around the teether just to change this into a wreath. I don't know. That's the only idea I got when I looked at it was it reminds me of a wreath. So I'm wrapping it with burlap. This ribbon came from Dollar Tree 
And I try to go around it at least twice to give that, to really cover up the red from the teether. Just hot gluing that last little piece down and making sure I use my scissors instead of my fingers. But next, La Parsha did send me this house. So I am going to just take this apart, open it up, and trace out the back onto some really pretty Christmas tissue paper. Now I got this at Dollar Tree last year. I haven't seen it this year, but doesn't mean that it's not in your stores. It just means I haven't seen it this year. Because the tissue paper is thin, I am tracing the house form out on to some cardstock that I have, and then I'm just going to cut that out. Okay, now that I have it cut out, I am going to put this tissue paper back in, put the cardstock back in, and put the backing back in, and then push down the prongs. That is it. Going to hot glue the wreath onto my house here. And then I am taking some greenery that I had left over from some picks I purchased at Dollar Tree. Actually, no, these picks were from Walmart. These are just remnants of some picks that I took apart. And I'm going to hot glue them on and then I'm going to hot glue some berries and this DIY is done. This mystery swamp is hosted by Brenda over at Monner's Market and co-hosted by Glitzy Stitches. I will link both the ladies I got my box from and linked the person I sent my box to down in the description box below and as well as the playlist. Please go check everything out. Follow the playlist. You'll, it'll be just a fun thing to do. Second DIY, I'm taking the back of this picture frame or this decor piece from Dollar Tree and I'm not going to use the frame part I'm just using the flat back part and just removing the picture from that and the sticker going to be taking the leash cut off the end so I can just get a nice flat end to it and I'm going to hot glue this all the way around the edge of this piece I'm going to transform this into a tray and using the rope or the leash here, it's not rope, it's a leash, as my edging of my tray. Hot gluing that down. Now when I get to the corner, I try to make it, um, I trim it off just a little bit because I'm trying to make my two ends meet up good. And then I put some hot glue on those ends because they fray real easily, real quickly. So I'm trying to shape it with some hot glue so it didn't look like a bunch of frayed pieces of material. Taking some Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant and I am giving this one good coat. I love the color Elephant. It just covers things so well and the chalk paint, it's just good. So this leash actually paints really well. I was really surprised. I didn't know how many... Uh, coats I was going to have to do to cover up that bright color, but just one coat. Next, I'm taking these snowmen and I'm turning them upside down to make legs for my riser or my tray here. I'm going to leave them this natural color because I liked the contrast between the two. So this tray in and of itself is not very Christmassy, but if you combine it with some seedling trees and some other Christmas decorations, it forms a very nice Christmas decor. I will post the link to my little seedling trees in the description box. Okay, my last DIY for this challenge is going to be this sign. So I... I thought about just redoing the trailer and making it be like a Christmas trailer, but I'm going to do something different. I'm going to take some canvas and cut it out the shape of this trailer. And this is just some leftover canvas that I had from a picture frame. 
Once that is done, I cut it out just a little bit larger than what I traced it. So I had some extra room folding down the top to make kind of like a faux hem. I'm going to go ahead and then come in with some hot glue and fold down the top with some hot glue there and then fold it down again. And that kind of seals off the top. I'm going to make a wall hanging basket. So I get my edge there done, put in some a little spacer just to give, so I'm not gluing down everything. I have some space to tuck in some greenery and trim off any of the extra overlay. Now I'm very much aware that this kind of looks like a purse. I really wanted it to look kind of like a wall basket. I was going to do some other things to it, but it didn't work out. But that's okay because I still think this will turn out cute. So I want this to be Christmassy and I'm going to write Merry Christmas on there. I'm going to use my washi tape here to form two lines so then I can write out the word Merry and then the word Christmas. Now I do this kind of in this Ray Dunn faux font and then I just cursive hand write Christmas. Then I come through with my paint marker. This I get from Walmart just a couple dollars. I love my paint marker. I use it so much. Tracing back over my Merry Christmas with the paint marker. And then after that is done, I just make sure a little, everything's crossed, T's across, the I's are dotted. And I wanted to create a hanger in the back, taking some black and white checkered ribbon hot gluing that down in the back. See, I think this is what makes it look like a purse or a handbag the most, but it's okay, right? I mean, I'm pointing it out. It's all right. I still think it will turn out cute. Crisscrossing some ribbon and hot gluing it all together to form a bow and then tying that middle piece with some baker's twine, black and white baker's twine. Once that is tied, I just trim that down and that's how I made my little bow. It's nothing elaborate, just cute little bow. Dove, gonna dovetail the ends of the bow to make it look nice. Hot glue that down and then come in with some berries. Now I'm gonna finish this off with some 99, 98 cent picks from Walmart and this Christmas decor piece is done. I've so enjoyed participating in this swap. I'm hoping you enjoyed it as well. Remember to go check out that playlist. Please go on and see what I sent Sarah. I think you will just totally love her DIYs and her channel as well. The hosts are linked down below and the playlist linked down below. Please give this video a thumbs up. Love for you to stick around by subscribing. And until the next time, everyone, you have a good one. Bye.